One of our viewers wonders how the camera metering works, which is a very good topic indeed. If you understand how the in-camera metering system measures the brightness of the subjects, you can handle different scenarios with ease. When using program, shutter priority or aperture priority modes, you may overexpose or underexpose the photos in extreme cases like this. As you can imagine, if you want to capture the whole scene here, using an automatic mode is not the best option. Because the foam is so bright that it will fool the camera into darkening the image. You can turn up the exposure compensation in program, shutter priority and aperture priority modes. But it's pretty hard to predict whether you would overexpose the picture by accident. In fact, you can get a precise reading if you can shoot in manual mode with spot metering. Check the reading of the subject's face. Overexpose the picture by half to one stop and that would make their faces look more lively. Since spot metering measures the brightness according to a very small area of the frame, that allows more freedom and flexibility in composition. Let's say you want to take a picture that comprises of two subjects with different exposure requirements. You can take the reading from the faces of both subjects with spot metering, and mark an average aperture so that both of them are looking good. Apart from spot metering, you can use partial metering to measure the brightness of the photo. It is good for working on portrait of backlit subjects. It measures subjects that appear around the center of the frame. But you should take extra care when metering. If you can find shade or highlights on the subject's face, that would affect metering results. If you can get close enough and have the time to meter off the right part of his face, spot metering is the most precise method. However, you might think it's troublesome to check the reading every time you take a shot. One thing you can do is get a reading from any subject when you get to a scene, then mark the aperture and stick to it. However, you need to keep your eyes open to see whether there is a change in natural light to avoid overexposure or underexposure. If that happens, check the reading again and adjust the aperture if needed. Thanks again for watching, please subscribe and leave your comments. And stay tuned for more on camera metering systems. Bye and see you next time.